Hi everyone, welcome to Zainal's Neat PG Information Series. The registration process for CPS seats in the state of Maharashtra has started. Uh, these are for CPS courses offered by the state government and corporation hospitals and medical colleges in the state of Maharashtra. And uh, this also includes the CPS courses offered by private unaided institutes in the state of Maharashtra. Uh, the registration started on 12th May and is ending on 20th May, post which the choice filling and the allotment process is expected to happen. The schedule is already available in the portal. This year, the counseling is uh, done by DMER and therefore uh, it is expected that uh, more information is shared compared to the previous years. Uh, uh, you can have a look at the link over here and also in the description. It is also available in the description. Uh, note that this is only for uh, the seats mentioned uh, over here. Uh, it, this does not include the seats offered, uh, the CPS courses offered by CHS, uh, basically the district or hospital or the civil hospital or the sub-district hospitals offering CPS. Those are prioritized for in-service candidates and there will be a separate notification for that. And also this counseling does not include the CPS courses offered uh, by other states, uh, in other states like uh, Gujarat, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, uh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, etc. For that, you will have to look at the websites of those state uh, authorities or the uh, uh, state uh, DMEs. Uh, we look at, have a look at the seats that are available as far as Maharashtra CPS counseling conducted by DMER goes. The institutes that are offering these courses can be categorized into two different sets. One is the state government or the BMC uh, colleges and hospitals. Uh, basically, uh, uh, this is set one. And second, you have the unaided private institutes offering CPS courses. There is a distinction in terms of fees, eligibility, reservation, etc. in these two sets and that, that's why we categorize them separately. And uh, what needs to be noted, like we mentioned, is that those CPS courses which are prioritized for in-service candidates coming under CHS of Maharashtra uh, in these hospitals, district hospitals, district women hospitals, civil hospitals, sub-district sub hospitals, etc. are not under this particular counseling. There will be a separate notification. What are the courses that are offered uh, that are offered that come under the scope of this counseling? One is the CPS diplomas that are offered. Uh, they are listed down here. These are two-year courses. And then you have the FCPS courses, which are three-year courses. The eligibility for entry into, into these courses remain the same. We will look at the eligibility. But there is confusion on what happens after you complete these courses. Uh, uh, basically, one on the equivalence of these courses, uh, like, ex uh, like, for example, whether the CPS diplomas are equivalent to uh, PG diplomas offered by uh, NMC, whether the F FCPS courses are equal to MDMS courses offered by uh, NMC. Second is the rec recognition of courses or rather uh, register whether it is possible to register and practice after the completion of these courses, which states allow registration. Uh, that is a second query that is usually that usually comes up. And third is on eligibility for PG. Let's say I will complete CPS diploma uh, in a certain uh, specialty, whether I will be able to write DNB PD set. Similarly, for FCPS courses after completion, what higher specialties, uh, whether I'll be eligible for higher specialties like super specialty, etc. So this, uh, we are covering it in a separate video. Uh, have a, We'll uh, uh, share that video today. So uh, we are not covering it here. Here we'll look at the eligibility for the counseling and the details regarding the seats, fee structure, reservation, etc. So what is the eligibility for C CPS? The basic eligibility that remains the same as the MDMS NEET PG 2021 admissions eligibility. You should be qualified in NEET PG 2021 after the revised cost of score the third if you are above 35 percentile in neat pg 2021 then your uh, 2021 exams you are eligible for cps you should have completed your crri by 30th september 2021 it is the same as the one for mdms 2021 admission sessions now there are two sets of seats beyond these uh, the eligibility depends on your mbbs and your domicile now set one is maharashtra state government or bmc seats basically the uh, seats that come under uh, the Municipal Corporation of uh, Maharashtra. Now, uh, for this set of seats to be eligible, you should be either an MBBS from the state of Maharashtra. You are an MBBS from any institute in Maharashtra, uh, even if it is a deemed institute, you are eligible for this set of seats. Uh, second, uh, if you're not an MBBS from the state of Maharashtra, but you are a domicile of Maharashtra and you are an MBBS under uh, you have done your MBBS under 15 percentage all India quota in any state or in an AIMS or a central institution outside Maharashtra, then you are still eligible for 
this set of state government or corporation seats. So there, are, there is the, for the state government or BMC seats, you are eligible. If you are an MBBS from Maharashtra, straight away you are eligible, irrespective of whatever your domicile is. If you are a domicile of Maharashtra and you are an MBBS from under 50, you have taken done your MBBS under 15 percentage All India Quota, AIMS, or central institutions. Even if it is outside Maharashtra, you will be eligible for this set of seats. For the unaided or private, uh, unaided private institutes or hospitals, every need PG qualified candidate, including uh, FMG, is eligible. FMGs are eligible. So uh, the, those who are eligible and for set one are also eligible for set two. Uh, for set two, uh, for, if you have done your MBBS outside. Maharashtra, let us say, and you're not a domicile of Maharashtra, then you are straight away not eligible for these set of seats. You're eligible only for the set two seats. So uh, uh, this defines the criteria. And we will also look at the reservation fee structure and states. First, we'll look at the reservation fee structure and details for Maharashtra government or BMC seats for which only this set of candidates, either one or two are eligible. So the eligibility is as defined, uh, we have discussed that. Reservation, Maharashtra state reservation is uh, available for these seats. Uh, the seats are uh, categorized into uh, as per Maharashtra state reservation. Now, who can take up this state reservation? Only those candidates who are domicile of Maharashtra in any of these two categories. They are eligible for state reservation. Let us say you are a domicile of another state, but you have done your MBBS from Maharashtra. You are eligible for these seats. But you are not eligible for reservation. You will be eligible only for general category of these seats. Uh, if you are from domicile from the state of Maharashtra and you fall under any of these two categories, then you are eligible for Maharashtra state reservation. The basic uh, Maharashtra state seats which are under reserved category, you will be eligible for your respective category. The tuition fee is 1,3900 uh, per annum. The stipend in government medical colleges, you can recheck this. It is around 54K or 53K in line with whatever the government is offering today by MDMS. Uh, for state BMC hospitals, uh, it is around 10K to 15K. You can also recheck this again. It is only around 10K to 15K. You can check this. There's no bond available. Uh, the, there's no bond applicability for this set of seats. Now, in addition to this tuition fee per annum, you will pay uh, a fee of a CPS uh, fee of 85K for diploma. This is 95K for SPS, FPS courses. This is to be, this is for uh, towards uh, the CPS Mumbai uh, fee. And in addition to that, C uh, this 85k or 95k you pay you also pay an additional emd study material fee or 75k uh, this should be a one time fee uh, this is the same for both P uh, cps diploma and fcps courses now uh, what is the fee structure for unaided private institutes this is the 792 seats for which all need pg qualified candidates including fmgs are eligible uh, these seats are categorized as merit or institutional quota so uh, the fee structure is uh, uh, based on uh, whether uh, uh, this fee structure is the same for most of the courses, except for one or two, we'll have a look at it. For all CPS diplomas under merit quota, six lakhs is the fee structure. For all CPF, uh, FCPS courses under merit uh, quota, seven lakhs is the fee structure. What is merit quota? 50% of seats are classified under merit quota and 50% are classified under institutional quota. It is just a differentiation in terms of the fee structure. Otherwise, there is no reservation anyways for this set of seats. So uh, uh, everything else, the eligibility remains the same. Only thing is a difference in the fee structure. So under institutional quota, like I said, like we said, the fee structure is different. For CPS diploma courses, the fee is 12 lakhs, twice that of the merit quota. And for DMRE, uh, Diploma in uh, Medical Radiology and Electrology, and DDV, Dermatology, basically, uh, Diploma in, uh, CPS Diploma in Dermatology, the fee structure is 18 lakhs per annum. Now, for institutional quota, FCPS, uh, uh, the fee structure under institutional quota is 14 lakhs, twice that of the merit quota fee structure. Uh, for FCPS Dermatology and FCPS Medicine alone, the fee structure is 21 lakhs, which is thrice the merit quota fee structure. The only difference between merit quota and institutional quota is in terms of fee structure. 50% seats are categorized under merit quota and 50% under institutional quota. The stipend may be around 15K in each of these institutes. Check with the institute wise. Uh, we haven't been able to confirm with all the institutes and there is no bond anyways. And as we already mentioned, in addition to the tuition fee, an 85K has to be paid uh, uh, as far as CPS Mumbai's fees is concerned. Uh, and uh, this is 95K for SV, FCPS courses and for the EMD study material, electronic monitoring device study material, an additional 75,000 has to be paid. Uh, so this is as far as the 
eligibility, reservation, fee structure for CPS courses are concerned. Uh, there have been some uh, queries on uh, the uh, equivalence registration and what uh, can be done after CPS and uh, diploma and FCPS. We'll come back with a separate video on that. On the FAQs on registration, etc., we are coming up with a separate video. We have shared our Telegram group and FB group details in the uh, YouTube description. Join the FB group and Telegram group and you will be able to, uh, we'll clarify all your queries on the FB group or the Telegram group. Uh, uh, links which are provided uh, below. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, please share it with your friends or others for whom this may be helpful. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.